This is the first part on making a quiz game button box. In this video, we'll be modeling Infusion 360 and 3D printing the box. It's a long video, so let's get started. Okay, I'm using Fusion 360 to make um, our button box. So first thing we do when we open Fusion 360 here, we're gonna go and in Origins, we just turn on the light bulb and that'll show us the origin, which is like the planes. So this bottom plane right here, it's basically the bottom where, uh, where we're gonna start uh, working on so we select that and then we go sketch and we're going to create a rectangle okay so it's just a two-point rectangle so now we're looking at the sketch from the top view uh, if you have a mouse with a, a wheel and which the wheel is also like they call it the third button or the center button you hold shift and you hit that button and you can orbit around and look around if without Pressing shift, just the button you can move around, okay? So you hit top and it'll line it up. So we go from the center and we pull it up. And now without clicking, we're gonna put in the dimensions, which I already know. I'm gonna make this one 100 millimeters and the length is gonna be 170 millimeters. And we hit okay. And there we have our first old sketch it's called sketch uh, that's what's going to give the size if we ever want to change this in the future we can always come back to the sketch change the size and it will change the whole project so i'll, I'll take out the origin and then i'm going to click here well actually you know what i need it i need to see it in a pretty big um, an angle here so next thing we're going to do we're going to go into create and we're gonna extrude. So we're gonna extrude this. This is the height of our of our box. And also, I'm gonna make it 100. So we just go ahead and click OK. And now we have a 3D box. Okay. I can get rid of the sketch, which is the first square we made. So uh, next thing we need to do. Now this is the size. I usually do the fillet, which is making the corners round, but I think I found it a lot more easier just to leave it like that and do it at the end. This way I can do measurements exactly from the edge, which I know the size of it. So, uh, well, next point, we're, next uh, step we're gonna make here, we're gonna select this face. See, just when you click just one part of it, it will select the face. And we select the top face and this, we case is the top here. You can also hold and drag this square. You can move it in 3D. I don't know if you guys know, but just for the people that are new to Fusion 360. Okay, we hit top. If you're in school, uh, you can get this uh, program for free. So it's like, a, it's free for students and teachers. Okay. And we have selected that, the, oops, I had selected. We're gonna select the top view here, we can go to the top looking straight at it and we're going to sketch on it and I'm going to go ahead and put some points. So now um, it's asking me where do I want my points. I want them closer to the edge but I have I want to have enough space to put in the wires and the cables and the switch in there. So uh, the hole, I know the hole is going to be 28 and then this snaps so I'm pretty sure I'm here in the middle here. So I'm just going to put it around here and then drag and then and just put another one over here. Um, I don't know the distance. To do that, we're gonna hit the letter D on the keyboard, and then we're gonna click on our point, click on, on the edge, pull it down, I mean, not holding, just click, click, pull down the mouse and click again, and then it will ask you how, like the distance between this hole and the edge, what's the distance you have you want between them. I know my button is 28 millimeters, so I want at least half of that from the edge. So I'm gonna go 15, I'm gonna round it off. So I'll go, I'm sorry, I want 15 plus 
the radius of my butt of my button. I know the, the diameter is 28 plus the radius, which diameter is half of the I mean radius is half of the di diameter. So I know the diameter is 28, so it's 14. So I got 15 plus the radius, which is 14. I could also type in 29, but I mean that, that's a trick. If you, you don't want to do the math, you can do the math on there, it'll do it for you. Like, like kind of like a calculator. So I know it's going to be 29. So same thing here. So I'm going to here, here, pull it down, and it's going to be 29. Now I know because it's the same over here. So once I get my, my buttons here, I know what size they're going to be. Also, I need another button in the for the LED lights to come on once you press the buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the sketch point. I'm going to do another point here and another one here. Okay. Um, we're going to center this later on. I'm not going to move those. I want to see how big these sizes are. So I stop sketch. Now here's my sketch. If I turn it on, I can see the buttons I click off. So, so basically, once I turn on the sketch, you just made, you have access to them. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go ahead and create a hole. You can also hit H. Now it's asking you how deep. Um, you know what? I totally forgot about that. Uh, let's go here. Hole. And you're going to go cancel. We have a solid right now. Uh, first thing we need to do is make it. Um, make make a shell which is empty inside but with a wall. So before we keep going on, we select the whole body. And by that we hit bodies here and body one, which is the whole thing. I'm gonna get rid of the sketch for now. And now I have selected the whole body. Everything's selected. Now this is solid. Now to create a um, uh, like a you're gonna modify it and go shell. So I guess in the description there, it's it's asking you like it's gonna ask you size of the shell of the thickness. So I, I know I wanted four millimeters. That's strong enough to make it um, rigid enough for people to like be slamming their hand against it. So I go four. So I know it's now it's this. Um, here I can do an extrusion, extrude, and if I put this down, see how I, I hit OK. See, it's a shell. It's empty. So I'll just uh, undo that, and I know I have a shell. Okay. So now we go back to our sketches. Here I get rid of this. Rid of the sketches, and I hit this, and then I hit, and I create a hole. Now. I know my my buttons, these are the RK type. I know they're 28 millimeters wide. So the first here is asking the depth. So our five is all right because our shell is four already. So we, we should be fine. And then we hit tab. And then it's asking me the width. So in this case, I'm going to go 28. Then before I hit enter, I go ahead and uh, hold shift and then click on the other button and it'll automatically do the same spec specs on it, okay? So we hit okay, and then we have our holes. How, uh, this box can be smaller, but as I show you before, I had, I didn't have enough space in to put in, the, put in the batteries and all the cables and the relays. So I think that's good enough. I think it's a little too, too close to the edge. So if we wanna modify this, this is a trick. We go and we go to the sketch one, which is the bottom. We don't need that. Sketch two, the one on the top. We turn it on. It's where those where those um, points we made. Now you see here it highlighted sketch two. This is the timeline. This is what we've been doing in all along. So if I go to that sketch two, right click it, edit sketch. It's going to take me back to the sketch. And because I think it's a little too close to the edge, I can make this bigger. And it's at 10 more, 10 more millimeters. I could either add 10 and just type in 39, or make it fun and 
at 10. And it just made it 29. Over here, I'll do it differently. I'll just go 39. Now, once I hit stop sketch, it's gonna take it back and it's gonna modify out of already the holes we made. This is a really useful tool for everything. I can even change the width of this box. I think it's, I need it a little bit longer, a little bit smaller. I go to sketch, sketch one. I go ahead, edit sketch. And then I make this longer. When I, when I hit stop sketch, the whole, the whole uh, body is gonna be longer. And because we placed this point here a distance from the edge, so it doesn't matter how long, how big is the box, that hole is gonna be whatever the 39 millimeters from the edge. So if I make this box, you know, 300 millimeters long, that hole will still be 39 millimeters from the edge. So it's a useful tool. I mean, you should, you know, get used to using it. It makes, you know, like all this um, going back and modifying a lot, a lot. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is the holes for the LED, LEDs. Um, and again, that's pretty simple. We'll just go and create a hole. And we're gonna tell it that one here and here. And you can always come back over here until it's, it's only, oops. I'll cancel. I'll do one first. I like doing one, I don't know why. I'll create a hole and distance five, and then we put one here. So the hole. After two holes, we'll just hit OK, and we're done. I can turn off that sketch. I don't need those dot dots uh, points anymore. They're just reference points, but it's easier to move the point that to move the holes once you made them. So I always use a point to start something, uh, a sketch, and then you can modify the sketch and can, you can move things around, okay? So we have those holes on the, for, the button, for the buttons and for the LEDs. Now, let's go to the front, which let's say it's the front where people are gonna be looking at it. So I like to put, like I usually use this for to play Family Feud, so you get three X's. So what I do, I just put in three holes with LEDs. So that way people, you know, like how many wrong answers you have already. So I'll do another sketch. I'll select this face. We do go to sketch, point. And so this was 170. So we're talking about half of that. What is that? Um, I'll just get a calculator. 170 divided by two, it's 85. I'm lazy right now. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be accurate. Yeah, I think it is. And then, you know, just make dots. I mean, I know they're not, they're not perfectly synced. So I know that this is 85, so I'll go ahead and go D. Hit the letter D under keyboard. You select it, the edge. Yeah, it's 85, we're fine. Now, the distance between this and say this one, I like the distance of this one better. So it's 24, I'll change it, make it even 30. And then I'm gonna go this and this, put it down and this and 30. So now everything's the same distance. Um, a trick I did on the, not a trick, but something I learned, stop sketch. Something I learned from the first prototype, I, I put this LEDs up here on the top. Well, once you want to wire them and solder them, it's a pain. Uh, they're in too deep in the, into the box. So I'd rather put them on the bottom now and just solder them easily. It's the last thing I do. I first make the button uh, mechanism work. Like these are, are difficult to work with because they're like all the way in the box. Okay. And uh, you know what, before we go on, well, you know what, let's do the holes for this first. So I'll just hit H. And with five millimeters, we find everywhere. We just did the ones on the top. So we hit, I mean, it keeps the same information from the last holes you made. And we hit okay, we have holes. Now we're gonna go to the back side with the you know, host is looking at it. And I wanna make three, I have switches, toggle switches, which are gonna turn on the, the, um, the, 
LEDs on the front, and then I want a reset button that once once you hit the button, once the light is gonna come on, and then you hit that reset button, it's ready to start again. I used to have a, I mean, this is a third prototype, so this is Mark III, uh, on off switch, but I noticed that I don't really need it because once you hit the reset button, nothing's connected, not until you hit a switch. So basically it's off already. So I don't need an on off switch. So I just eliminate that. So now we need to make three holes here and one hole here over here. Uh, let's see. So we select the face and we go with the pointy end. And I don't think I need to talk in this. I'll just uh, fast forward. You guys can see how it goes. Okay, uh, on the toggle switch, I know it's 20.5 millimeters. Okay. I don't know if this has the distance. Uh, yeah, it's the distance. Okay, 20.5. And then. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was this. Um, that was, used to be the on off switch. Uh, uh, the toggle switches are 6 millimeters. Okay, there you go. Just a little bit for this and this. And six millimeters wide, and then we should be fine. Okay, just looking back on that sketch, get that point over here. And my reset button is seven millimeters wide, so I'll just hit hold. And oh, there's an the option there already. Oops. So I'll just make it seven millimeters. I hit OK. Update, update. So we have the three button, uh, holes for the switches on the back and the reset button. Okay, next thing I want to do, uh, we're almost done. So we got the switches, we have that. Now we're going to make the lid on the bottom. Now there's a trick here. Um, we go to the bottom, we select the plane, we go to construct and create an off set plane. So now if you look, the um, there's a plane on the bottom. I want to move it up exactly 2.5 millimeters. That's the width of my, um, of my, the lid on the bottom, but I'm going down. I want to go up and hit OK. Now, what do we got here? The the um, the plane is not really cutting through, but it's through our our, our box. Now I want to cut through the box, so I hit select that plane, which is construct over here. I can select the plane here, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna uh, where is it? Oops. Modify and split body. Now it's asking me body to split, so I'll go ahead. And, I'll go to body. So hit this one, body to split, and split width. So already selected. So if I hit OK, and then I get rid of my. See, there's a line. Now I have two bodies. I have the lid, and I have the the top part. So. But you know what? I forgot to do something before this, so I'll go back and get rid of all those things I made. There's a plane, and actually I can leave the plane. I'll just hide it. I want to make holes for the screws. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to you know, I'm gonna look at the bottom. I'm going to just sketch at the bottom. And again, we'll do points. 
makes it a lot easier. And I'll do point here. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. And because it has that the snapping feature, it'll snap it automatically. I'm just, this is just to double check. I don't think I'm five here. Oh, yeah, yeah. How about here from here? Okay, hit enter. Here to here. Do five, enter. Here to here. Do five, we're good. And here to here. See, we're not. So I'll just do it five. Remove it. So it's a little bit off. Here to here is going to be, it's not five. From here to here. So okay, so now it's center. I'll stop the sketch. Now, this is for the um, the, the screws or bolts or whatever you want to attach the lid to the body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, this one. I'm going to draw a circle, and it's going to be it's going to be drawn from the center. So we'll get it. We'll go and zoom in. See, it almost goes to the edge, and that's what I want. Be good, right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and shift and click on the other points. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll, just, I'll come back and then fix it. Should have done this before. I'm, I'm gonna go back. I, I made a mistake and I will not delete or edit out this mistake. Learn from my mistakes, okay? So I'll go ahead and select all the points first. And, and then, sketch a circle. I don't want to go over by accident, so I'll just put it in 9.5. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it all wrong. Okay. I guess I'll do it all wrong. Make it a circle. 9.5. Oops. 9.5. 9. Point five. C for circle and go 9.5. That's it. Well, it's not something to do. I'll try to do. I was trying to do something fancy, but I, I guess I forgot how to. So I got the circles. We're all good. Now I'm going to select all those circles. Shift, select, shift, select, shift. Oops. Shift select, shift select, but I think I got it all. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay. And we're gonna extrude. Do we extrusion? Extrude? Okay, if we extrude, ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'll do it after the fact. I guess you have to do it after the fact. So, we can create an extrusion, or we can go in. I usually like to go about 10 millimeters, I don't need that much. But it's going to cut into the material. You see here, there's an option that says cut. You really have to join. Now what it does, it's creating an extra body which is going to be joined to the body itself. Okay? 
So, you know what? I'll go 15 millimeters just to be safe. Uh, let me see, 10 millimeters. Yeah, 10 millimeters. It's it's all, it's fine. So we go ahead and click it. And now on the inside, uh, let me see if we can see it from the top. Oops, I hit the wrong button there. Cancel, cancel. I don't know what I was doing. On the inside, you can see, you can see the corner over there on the top of the box. See, we have that that uh, extra extra material where we can screw into the body. I uh, just want to double check. I'm getting the way of that other switch. Let's see. Now we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so this is the bottom. And there's extra material there. Now what I need to do, I need to go back to that sketch of the points. See? Now I want to make a hole that's going to go in and the hole for the screw to actually drive in, okay? So we hit that. I could say, uh, create a hole. Now this hole I don't want it that big. Uh, well, there's an option here. I'll do it over here. And to start with, let's see, let's go back. I made it 10, so I don't need it that long. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I want to do is the width. I'm going to make it, um, let me see. Mm, let me look at my notes here. Yeah, I'm, um, oops, sorry, hit the mic. I'll make it two millimeters. Uh, it, it, mm. No, I'll make it 1.5. Like, yeah, 1.5. Even though the uh, three printing, it's it kind of like it's not super exact, but it'll be enough space for a screw to like drive in with the uh, threads. So I'll just hit that. Okay. Now we should have a hole, like a really small hole in there where the threads of the whatever screw you're gonna use are gonna... I mean, you have different screws or whatever screws you're gonna use, you can like leave enough like material in there for the threads to like grab on. Unless you're using a nut, I mean, you'll, you'll be fine. So, we still have the, uh, the, uh, the points here. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna make a little uh, reset for the screw to actually fall into. We have 10 millimeters, so most likely I'm going to use about three, maybe four. I'll use four. Well, you know what? We have the lid. The lid is going to be, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to leave it just like that. If you want to, you can do it. Now, I'll just get rid of the sketch. And we just have the hole. Okay, now we're going to go back to the plane. And we're going to cut our box. Okay. We're gonna cut this box. Now we're gonna select the plane and we're gonna split body. We're gonna select the body we're gonna split. And we're gonna hit OK. Now, get rid of this. I don't need it anymore. Now I have two bodies. So I have the top part and I have the lid, the bottom part. Now I have the holes. That's why I wanted to do the holes first before I split it. That way both of them have the holes. See? Now you're gonna notice something. There's no hole. <laughs> well see, we made that split 2.5 and remember our shell was four, so there's still like 1.5 material between the two. And this is the trick I came up with um, out of necessity. I don't want to go ahead and modify everything again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this face and I'm going to extrude and I'm going to extrude up and I, see I don't want to go too far where, where I cut the um, the holes for the for the LEDs. So I'll try minus 8, a little bit more, minus 5. Okay, that's Oops, okay. Oops. There you go. Okay, that's enough to make the hole and not cut through the um, through the uh, the holes on the LED. So I'll just hit OK. And now, if I leave it like that, I mean, you can leave it like that, and it's going to be shorter. There's going to be little material for your threads to go through, which is okay. 
but we're still like we have five millimeters of of material or height we're taking off. I mean, this will work fine if you if you want to leave it like that, it's fine. But I want to get those five materials back because I'm not using the whole face now. We're gonna select this face. Oops, not that one. This face. See, it has a shape and everything. All we have to do is extrude it back five millimeters, and we have our original height back. But now we extruded that of this face, not the plain face. So now if I turn on the lid, everything is perfect. See? Okay. And now, okay, that should do it. Now I want to do one more thing. Uh, everybody's going to be slamming their hand, their hand on here. So I want to make all these edges smooth. I'm going to round them off and I'll go ahead and very careful, hold shift and select all the edges I want to work on. And like this. Uh, I'll work on the lid after the fact. Well, you know what I can do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. It's going to have a little pain in the butt. Oh. See, I'm doing all this holding shift. That way I don't, I don't lose the selection. edges. I think so. I don't need the bottom. I wanted it that flat. So instead of, you can go and modify. You can do a chamfer, which is flat, or you can do a fillet. I'll do a fillet, and that's a little more round fillet. See? Here, let me show you. I can exaggerate it, and it's going to go through the material. a little bit that's 10 millimeters that's fine it looks nice but I think we're going too far you can see some holes here on the edge so let's see five uh, it's all right but I want it I want it to look a little bit better so I'll go with seven it is round enough but we have to be careful because we're gonna print this upside down this is gonna be the bottom this is gonna be on your plate um, of your 3d printer so be careful not having those um, too big of an angle here where your machine won't be able to do it. I think I'll be fine. You know what? I'll be a little bit safer and go 6.5. And I think that's all right. See, there's a, you can choose a type you want to hear. Rolling doesn't make a lot of uh, difference. This is nice too. See, sit back. Roll back. No, I like to sit back. I think I'm gonna hold that one. I like it. I just hit okay. And guess what? It's done. Okay. So all you have to do now is uh, save your project. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Two button. Oops. Two button. Quiz. And it's saved. Um, when you do it here on, on Vision 360, it saves it on a cloud, so you always have to have that account. But now that it, this is done, I'm gonna go to Body One, right-click it, save as STL file. It's gonna think a while. It's gonna do the meshing for you. Don't move anything, and just hit OK. Then do body one, go to body two. Oops, here, over here. And save in a seal file. Yes. And we're done. So now we're gonna have to go to our Cura slicer and see you there. Once we're in Cura program, the slicing program, um, it 
it's gonna tell us there's 11 hours, 37 minutes to print, but first we have to orient this in the right position. We want this flat part on the top be on the bottom, so we're gonna flip it upside down. So we just click on it, go to rotation, grab the axis we're gonna wanna rotate this with. So it's 180 degrees, we let go. And there it is. Um, Make sure everything against the bed is red, so that means it's flat against the bed. So sometimes it means the 180 by accident, and then it's crooked, then you have problems. So. But now that seems to be fine. Everything's level, and we need we don't need any supports on this um, print. Now um, we're gonna go. If you see on the top right here, I have my preset uh, twigs on there so you know just it's uh, doing a 0.3 so I don't want any detail it's just functionality uh, the wall thickness are 0.4 um, the bottom 0.6 the infill I use 25% it seems to be strong enough and not use a lot of material uh, there I got my temperatures uh, the speed is gonna print on and one thing I do use, I use a skirt, no, no supports, and a skirt. I use just three lines. That just like make sure the uh, filament's coming out correctly and everything's, my bed's level, that's what I use. So then I just save it to an SD card. I use my camera, as you can see, SD card. I export it, I eject it so I can safely remove it and we'll go to the printer and print it. Extra footage and STL files are available in my Patreon page. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Next video will work on the assembly and the electronics involved. Here you can also click on the links for the videos on how I printed, painted and made the electronics for my Iron Man helmet. I'll see you next video.